How many people think that when Anne, Princess Royal, gets back to London, she's going to give Harry a good swift kick in Harry Pink Pods and slam the door on his pink pancakes as she sends him and his wife on their way? The Princess Royal made royal history as she joined King Charles for the Queen's vigil. As Operation Unicorn continues in the wake of the Queen's death, King Charles III, Princess Anne, Prince Andrew and Prince Edward have gathered together to conduct the vigil of the princes around their mother, Her Majesty the Queen's Coffin in St Giles Cathedral in Edinburgh, Scotland. The four siblings joined the Royal Company of Archers, who were tasked with guarding the Queen's casket during its time in the cathedral for about ten minutes as members of the public paid their respects. Making royal history, Princess Anne became the first female royal to join the vigil in an elegant fashion and bowed her head and fell into what might be her very last deep curtsy for her mother. The gesture was made even more poignant by the fact it mirrored exactly how Queen Elizabeth II greeted Princess Diana's coffin during her funeral in 1997, where she bowed her head as a sign of respect. It was incredibly emotional to see Anne and Sophie Wessex curtsying as they saw the late Queen's coffin being carried into the Edinburgh Palace. The Countess later consoled the Princess Royal by rubbing her back. Royal fan at Love Family Wales tweeted, How thoughtful of the Countess to do that. Princess Anne needs a lot of comfort. Similarly, Hawk 3Y Gun 3Y3 added, A nice touch from Sophie to Anne. That will mean a lot at this time. Togetherness and support for each other. Twitter user at Rich7 commented, Princess Royal is known to be rather stoic. It shows how much she's feeling the sadness and respect for her to curtsy so deeply and wonderful that the Countess of Wessex reaches out to comfort her. Harry will not be allowed to wear military uniform at the Queen's final vigil. However, Princess Anne can wear military uniforms at five ceremonial events. Royal sources said that Harry and William may walk side by side at Queen Elizabeth's funeral. We're certainly not in the same place as Philip's funeral when William and Harry didn't walk side by side, an insider revealed. Things haven't changed, but it's not as intense and they can coexist. But the flower visit really doesn't change anything. It's the same situation as at Prince Philip's funeral when William and Harry put their differences aside and supported each other and their families in that moment, they noted. Meghan to Harry. Harry, head for the kids. They don't know any better and hold the pose long enough for the cameras to get a good shot. Make this funeral all about us. Now that Charles is king, things might look different going forward. Charles wants to fix the Harry and Meghan problem. The only way he's going to stop them being a problem is to give in to them, which it looks like he's going to do, a source told. Charles's opinion is it's better to have them inside the royal tent rather than outside the tent. This is the new king's decision and his alone. He's not consulted William or Catherine, the insider shared. Most people in the family and the palace would not do this, but Charles wants to prove he's his own man. He doesn't see this as giving in to Harry and Meghan, but rather giving his reign a chance. Harry and Meghan would be a great asset overseas for him. He needs to stop them destroying the monarchy. Part of the deal would be Harry's book needs to disappear in order for this to work.